Hello again. The purpose of this tutorial is to show you how to draw this model in both 2D and 3D in less than 10 minutes. But please remember that there is always more than one way of drawing anything in AutoCAD. My method of drawing may seem unusual to some people, but it has worked well for me for the past 20 years. So please stay tuned. What you are looking at now is my 2D drawing and solid models of the object. If you look at the icon in the lower left corner of the screen, you can tell that the drawings being displayed are in paper space because a right triangle is shown. The first thing to do is to erase both the large and small viewports. You can see that the drawings have disappeared from paper space. All that remains are two rectangles which I drew previously to serve as templates for when I redraw the viewports later on. To get back into model space, I will now click the model button. With that accomplished, notice that both drawings still exist in model space, even though they were erased in paper space. Now, I will erase both drawings from model space so that I'll have room to, with, to redraw both the 2D and solid model. Now that I have a blank screen, I'm going to make the 2D drawing. I'm going to use the rectangle command and pick a point. Type D for distance, 4, enter, specify width, 4, enter. Now I'll use the offset command, O, enter, point 5, enter. Offset this here, this here. Also, I'm going to move all the squares into the upper left corner. Now, with the line command, I'm going to draw a line down here. And I'm going to draw three more rectangles. And the last one, I'll draw another rectangle. This time, distance will be 2, and the width will be 1. Now I'm going to move the square, I'm going to copy the squares from the top view and move them to the right and I'm going to change the color of the copied squares to blue, green, and red. And then I'm going to move into the southeast isometric view so that these copies can be extruded. I'm going to extrude E, X, T, enter, 1, enter. I'm going to extrude all three objects. Unfortunately, the colors are not correct, so I'm going back to the 2D, uh, 3D wireframe. And I'll have to change the colors again. Now I'm going to move the boxes one on top of each other. Move the green box from here to here. and we'll add shading to see what they looks like. Looks pretty good, so let's proceed further. Since I had forgotten to dimension the uh, 2D drawing, now would be a good time to do it. So I'm going to switch back to the pan or plan or top view and do it. 
In order to save time, I used the datum method of dimensioning. Having finished constructing the 2D solid model and dimensioning of the object, I want to get back to paper space so as to view the drawings properly and make the drawing ready for printing, so I'll click on the Layout 1 button. As you can see, my template rectangles are still there. Now to create the two viewports, I'll type MView, Enter, and select two diagonal points to create the larger viewport. Click Enter to repeat the command MView and select the two opposite corners of the smaller rectangle for a second viewport. Now double click inside the smaller viewport and switch to southeast isometric view, then we can pan and zoom to enlarge the solid model. To get back to paper space, we will double click outside the small viewport. Also, we are going to click on the perimeter of the large viewport and click the properties button to change the scale of the 2D drawing. You must remember that when using paper space, the entire drawing should be printed at a scale of one to one, even though individual viewports can be set to different scales. In this case, I want this viewport to be printed at one half scale, and so after clicking the properties button, I'll scroll down to miscellaneous and set the standard scale to one half. Once the scale is set, we double click inside the large viewport to gain access. Now we pan so that only the 2D drawing is visible in the large viewport. To accomplish this, it's sometimes necessary to move the solid. Now we double click outside the large viewport to get back into paper space. Finally, if we don't want the large and small rectangles to be printed, we can go back into the layer dialog box and freeze the layer viewports. The drawing is now complete. If you enjoyed following these instructions and want to make more solids, you can search YouTube under MD Guide for more tutorials or email me. Thank you for watching.